after the scandal surrounding the Sandwich of Doom and the untimely demise of Bob Kerman had died down, it was decided that Kerbinoffs would no longer be sent on routine missions of a non-explorational nature when at all possible. The Interplanetary Data Network was designed to meet this mandate and to turn a tidy profit in doing so. Our engineers discovered that the same network used to remote control spacecraft could also be used for terrestrial communications. We hope that this functionality will finance the large expense of this project. This graphic represents stage one of our network. The inner orange and yellow rings are unmanned satellites. They are inclined in order to provide service to the widest band of population. The outer pink ring is a manned station that coordinates the actions of all other satellites. Today we will be launching that manned station. This is the first piece of our comms network puzzle. This is the comms station K01. Its job is to govern all network nodes not within direct line of sight of Kubel Space Center. To that end, it has three antennas. The first one is a short-range omnidirectional antenna that's good only for relay work. It can get a message from point A to point B when there's a planet in the way, but that's about it. The second antenna is a medium-range dish. This is a directional antenna, can only target one craft at a time, but it can relay work from any point in the Kerbin sphere of influence to anywhere else. This one at the top is the interplanetary dish. It's good up to anywhere in the Kerbal system, but we don't have anywhere else for it to talk to yet, so this is just a future plan bit. I'll see if I can't get this into space, because this is very important. I'll see you there. And we are here at the launch pad. I do believe this is the first nighttime launch we've had in this program, so that's nice. You'll note up here in the upper right corner, the flight engineer. This is a attachment I put on this craft, because this one will need a lot more precise orbital maneuvering than my previous work. This has orbital information, service information, vessel information, and rendezvous information. For what we're doing today, we'll only want the vessel and orbit views, so let's close out those others. This tells us how much delta V we've got left, what our orbital parameters are at the moment, and all sorts of other fun stuff. Very useful. So, without further ado, let's check the staging over real quick. Uh, yeah, that looks about right. And where is everything right now? Oh, right. I don't have anything in orbit. Silly me. Uh, launch. I'm really starting to get over the big, huge rocket thing by this point. Uh, you'll note that this one only has three fuel tanks in each stage. I actually did some looking into it, and this is more efficient than having larger rockets. You can get more delta V out of it because you're hauling less fuel. I guess that makes sense, but I would have never thought of making smaller rockets to get further. And staging. And gravity turning. And staging again, and that almost hit our last stage. Might want to invest in some separatrons next time. Main engine cutoff with an apoapsis of 201 kilometers. It's about what I was looking for. Won't be too picky for this one. That was a comma, but it should have been a period. And we are now preparing for orbital injection. We've got just enough stage left in this lower bit to make me feel really comfortable about where we are. And except I just missed my apogee, uh, bring it back round if I can, uh, give it a bit of gas, maybe that'll help. Oh yeah, there we go. And uh, hold that there, thrust. Oops, that's that stage. Um, separate and separate. And since this is a station, it won't need really any fuel. I just packed a bit to spare in case I wanted to make some adjustments to my network later. This will stay in orbit. This is not a return vehicle. 
I might have to do some sort of crew rotation with Looney here, but I'm not planning on it. He can just deal with it. Oh, oh shoot. My orbit is like really skewed now. Um, actually, this is a good thing because the higher this is, the happier I am. I'll raise this apoapsis up to 350 kilometers and round my orbit around that instead. Oh, no, get on. Get on. There we go. Cut. Eccentricity of 0 0.002. That's pretty good, I think. So now let's open up these. Yes, I know they're ladders, but let's just pretend they're some sort of signal amplification majigger. They just look really cool. Okay, I believe we are situated here.